seems to work. Bonsoir, bonsoir à tous. Hello all. Thank you for coming in. Whether, whether it's one of you brave modelers at a late time in Europe, it's 11.30 here in France and uh, maybe even later in uh, Eastern Europe or anywhere you come from, welcome here. Or welcome if you're watching the, the video in the in the future. Uh, I didn't expect to make it in a row just the day after the wheel tire designing, but uh, I have a problem in my bench because I'm stuck. I've lost some of my photo etch saws and I can't move forward and separate my, my, some of my parts from the supports. So hopefully tomorrow I will have my saws available. So I had some spare time tonight. Uh, and uh, so working on the computer was, uh, was the best I had to do instead of uh, doing uh, stupid things, trying to separate my parts from the support with uh, nippers as I did just before my very first live. So I'm trying to be patient. So I stick on the computer and uh, very often, uh, I bet we are all the same modelers. Uh, as I started to design the, the tire yesterday with uh, with a few friends here on the live, uh, I have the process which keeps on turning in my mind. And uh, once you st start a part, uh, I can't. Uh, I bet it's the same for you. We we can't switch completely off our brain and separate from the project. And so I was somehow waiting to uh, quite impatiently to to go on further steps so let's jump uh, right into it and uh, i see two brave modelers uh, already on the on the chat so uh, i have a screen just down below checking the chat feel free to to interact and to and to add comments for Previous modelers who went on the earlier chat, uh, I checked my settings in uh, in my channel, so no comments are are available on the channel. Uh, I'll try to come and uh, check them here. You can also post links. Uh, that was for Tom who tried uh, to add some links yesterday night. So now normally some you'll be able to add links in the comment sections so that you can hear chat all together while uh, while looking at the video. So and uh, I'll also ch uh, if you want to add comments on my Facebook Facebook page instead of on the on the YouTube comments, it's up to you. I'll uh, I'll try to check uh, both. So let's let's jump uh, right into it. So uh, yesterday we designed a tire with some diamond thread blocks. Uh, we did some uh, lettering. We used some interesting features such as uh, extrusions, some uh, revolving, and also a little bit of uh, projection. Uh, just uh, switch on my sketches. So uh, here on the sketch, on the blue, the, the profile which after revolving creates a half, half a tire, and after mirroring you have the, the whole tire show, showing up. And uh, another feature is, which uh, on, in all those features we used yesterday, I found it in my in my self learning the, the most complicated one. It's a projection uh, because uh, the the tire thread line is basically a projection of uh, a diagonal line that is drawn above the tire, projected downwards onto the tire face and the tricky thing on, uh, on Fu Fusion 360 is that when you want to, to make a pro uh, to draw a projection you need to first draw on the sketch your initial line then end up it's a very important step you need to end up the sketch and start a new sketch that you set on uh, uh, it, it can be a, a random plane. The new plane it is just to allow the, the computer to to locate the the series of points. And on the new sketch, you have access to the to the projection uh, controls. It's a 
it, once you once you get when you once you get this mindset working with projections, it's a really helpful tool. So, so let's go and move on to the rim. And for the rim, let's see how it looks like. So very important, just uh, front wheel. No, main wheel. Reference picks are very important. So. I quickly imported those ones from. I uh, have better quality ones uh, just below me. They come from the Ginter book, mandatory book if you happen to model a, a Tiger Cat. So I have uh, both faces uh, just uh, below me, which give an idea, and I have uh, for you some better views. So. This picture is quite interesting. Okay, so we see that uh, there are many interesting features, such as uh, a lip, a rounded lip, all around some cavities. And uh, first thing we have to notice is it's a, a single cavity which is rep repeated all around the rim, all along. So we initially think. Uh, Okay, we'll be doing a, a circular pattern and we'll try on save time just designing either one cavity or either one wall. We we'll choose which, uh, which is uh, the, the best way to replicate, uh, replicate this. And same as, as we move to the center, we see that a lot of features are cir circular and uh, repeated. So, we can make a safe bet that uh, we'll be using a, a lot of circular patterns and uh, maybe some uh, revolving tool as well. We'll see because, uh, like in modeling, there is always several ways to to reach the same goal. And uh, I have another view, interesting view. This one. So on the front face. We see several interesting features. So we see a lip around here. Uh, I'm doing my homework in the meantime. So interesting thing is that uh, the lip here seems to be rather square and uh, less rounded on, uh, than on the other face. And uh, there seem to be a sort of there's a groove around there. An interesting groove, which is thinking mod modeling uh, wise thinking, uh, will need uh, quite a uh, quite a visible one to catch uh, some wash or pin wash or something like that. And uh, as we move to the center, a cover, a cover with a plate, and uh, then it goes recessing, and it stops with a center hub. And uh, we see some lettering around here with Grumman. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't get a picture with enough visibility on the rest of the text. And uh, we can see that even on, on the cover, there might be some interesting things. Letter seems a bit small to be replicated uh, on one thirty second scale. But for instance, there's a, a plate here which catches attention the valve which pops out here and behind uh, behind this cover I didn't manage to get uh, a lot of uh, accurate details but there are things happening so we'll try to at least an array of uh, vertical walls we'll try to to make uh, an educated guess about, about this and uh, We'll try to, um, to make things happen be behind this cover. Okay, so, and uh, as on the back side, fin to finish uh, the first overview on the back side, we see that there is uh, as well an array of cavities. The, the very bottom of the cavity seems to be rounded. We'll see if it's worth, uh, if it's worth uh, making or not. And the same. We can have on, on those cavities, we can have two ways to see them. Either we start from the recess and raise some walls and make an array of walls, 
or we start from the from the from the outer plane of the of the rim and push some cavities by uh, pushing some uh, cut extrusions uh, and uh, remove some uh, some flesh out of out of the rim so uh, we'll see how it goes many possibilities to to do it and uh, so i have my, my reference pick on uh, on my laptop so back on fusion uh, back on fusion back on the rim uh, first thing first how many parts are we making for the rim uh, we we are modelers we think uh, like modelers uh, there are several ways to make wheels in uh, in the market the way I prefer because obviously when you'll be yourself modeling your parts because it's uh, it's EMA in the end obviously you'll be making the wheels uh, according to your preferences and uh, you want to have the better experience on your bench with your, with your wheel my preference is to have a single tire and uh, two separate uh, faces for the rim which I push one for, uh, from uh, each one from a side as a sandwich and to to, to snap into into my uh, and uh, lock into my uh, tire so you we could also imagine uh, two separate faces for tires and rims it would be possible it, we could we could also imagine two separate faces for tires two separate faces for uh, rims also possible personally especially in the case of uh, diamond thread pattern i don't i on any tire but especially on, on on this on this one i don't want to have to deal with a seam along my tire so i'll i'll keep as a preference a single a single piece tire and uh, for the rim i'll try to make i'll start i think from the inner face and make a tube which goes through the the, the wheel and uh, i'll keep a part of tube from the outer face of the of the wheel we I'll keep a part of tube going inside the wheel as a centering part and uh, let's say roughly two thirds of the rim which would be attached on the inner inner rim and uh, the, the third part the third the last third of the rim would be on the uh, attached to the outer rim maybe it will change maybe when uh, when doing it we will see but initially that's my plan hey Tom you're 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 a good friend you're a brave man two two evenings in a row so thank you for joining uh, Tom thank you very much uh, as I said before uh, I couldn't help thinking at my room so uh, I didn't want to wait and uh, I got uh, back into it and uh, I'm waiting for replacement uh, saws uh, on my bench and uh, I'm a bit stuck. I need to separate some parts from uh, my supports and uh, I don't want to, to, to break another part like I did just five minutes before my first trim. So I'm being patient. My, my saws are, should arrive uh, hopefully tomorrow. I'm sticking on the computer in, instead of doing uh, stupid moves on, on my bench. So let's go and uh, thanks for joining uh, Tom thank you very much so uh, I'm starting from the inner face uh, inner face first thing first uh, I'll start from the center and remove useless sketches I just want I'll start on the center a sketch and I create a projection of my tire just to be sure I pick up the, 
the accurate size. Oh, my laptop is already slow. Okay, you see I have the projection, so I'm sure I have a proper size. Then I make an inset. I'm not too fond in, of constraining, and uh, I know it's something. Something. It's a good habit in Fusion. Uh, I'm not very disciplined about constraints, but that one is an important one because here we're looking at the tolerance, and the fit of the rim will be pushing of the tube will be pushing into the tire. So we want to find a good value because if we pick up exactly the same size as the tire we're pretty sure uh, it won't fit it won't fit we will have to have a little bit of sanding we need to make a tolerance uh, space or a gap to be able to slide our part because uh, two issues to consider uh, first one is a, uh, normally you'll be pushing a painted uh, rim, a, pa a painted half rim into a painted uh, tire. So you don't want to peel your paint or to have a flake of paint uh, going away. And also resin, according to your curing time, resin can be brittle and uh, be cautious with uh, your press fit. You don't want to snap little flakes of resin or little parts of resin. So. From experience, uh, as a tolerance, I'd say on my on my Sonic Mini and the, the settings I uh, I usually have, 0 0.1 millimeter is a tight fit. I usually take uh, 0.13 millimeter or 0.15 millimeters uh, minus 0.13 to have a proper slide fit. Because you have to consider you have a, a thickness of paint, you have maybe some uh, uh, some glue uh, going on there. So 0.13 is good. If in any case, at the very beginning, after your first test print, you still can move uh, this value uh, starting from the middle of uh, from the the middle from the inner part of, of the rim you still can push uh, and uh, cut some uh, some material or add some material if you really want to fine tune your your thickness so i'm going i'm starting with a 0.13 millimeter circle i don't know why my computer maybe the stream is slowing down my, my computer that's that might be the reason Okay, so just uh, I'm going back to the inner face picture. Okay, so I'm going to push this up. I'm going until just here. Because here we seem to be approximately on the same uh, same height or a bit less than the tire wall. Okay, it's always the first move is difficult, like in scratch building, and new body. Let's say this is my inner face. Okay, so. I'm aiming here and okay. Right. I've been trying this afternoon to see why my uh, computer was so slow yesterday. Uh, my friend uh, Will Pattison gave me some insight about settings about my uh, 
tire treads, which improve the thing, but the computer wasn't that, that slow. That might be the, the streaming thing which uh, slows it down. So we'll see. We'll try to improve this uh, in the future. I'm making a new sketch now, and I'll be making my outer lip. which seems to be a little bit more rounded I'm joining, yep. Like uh, I'm going to set the plane here. Uh, I'm just trying to have the lip going a bit further, and uh, when we'll be pushing the lip and. Uh, so that it's, it sits just ahead of the tire. And for this, I'm, I've done a plane on the top of the very beginning of the lip. Setting my sketch here. Circle. So I'm going purposely just a bit further than the tire. Keep in mind I'm above it, okay? And oh, sorry. I need the inner, the inner circle because I'm on, a, I'm on a new sketch, so I'll project this one too. projection uh, helped me get back the, the geometry from the previous sketch. F finish the sketch and now I can select both. Check an extrusion on two sides. Where are my handles? By the way, you see me use uh, the corner here to navigate uh, for the modeling gigs. Just received uh, this in my mailbox uh, this afternoon. It's uh, a magic mouse button thing. Uh, I'll be setting up. I'm, I'm sure if uh, Jared comes around, uh, he will recognize this thing. And uh, I'll be setting this up after the stream. It helps. On the using it on the left hand, it helps uh, navigating and the view. And uh, if if any good, then I'll, I'll be making a, maybe a video or a little uh, a little review on, uh, on my Facebook page. We'll see we'll see how it goes. But first, uh, I have to to set this up properly. So uh, back at my room. So 
so I just trying to make sure I have some room a bit high here join okay now a bit of finishing here to round the edges A bit of room. I could st still come back at my extrusion. I have too much room to my test. I can modify here and get a bit further down. Oh, that's a slow computer. to check what's slowing things down. Because unnecessary windows. I wish I had a quicker start again. At last, so okay, okay, much better. So Consider I have this area done. I want to round off my edge on the other part, which is here. Okay. I don't need those. Right. those cavities and uh, so let's start the drawing from here not sure I have plan just to be sure set a plan
Schmied Material. So here I'm, I have the outer contour here. I'll make just to ease my viewing because it's always easy to get confused with a lot of circles and so on. Make another circle here so that I have my wall visible here, this one. And I'm going to make an extrusion just behind the wall so that I have a better view of my of my outer ring. I'm pushing randomly here and we'll get back on the center area in another time. Yes Tom, uh, as you say, different possibilities. The other possibility I, uh, I've been seeking this afternoon, I wasn't too sure, was to start from a, from a cut and revolve the cut. I wasn't too sure on uh, which way uh, which way I would start initially. Uh, so when there are a lot lot of different uh, rings or different details coming from, uh, when navigating from the outer to the center. I found it, at the, uh, at the moment now, I found it more easy to, to start from the outer circle and go progressively until the middle. Uh, I was considering uh, as well, trying to imagine uh, just a section, uh, a half section of the rim and revolve it and uh, and adjust the different uh, details on on the profile i wasn't too sure uh, both would be possible for sure yeah and so now i need uh, to get uh, this geometry to push uh, some flesh here so uh, why did i finish my Sketch too early. Just modify. Come back at the sketch. And uh, when you say differently, Tom, uh, you're thinking at the revolving tool, uh, or is it uh, something else? I'm flush here. Yep. Okay, so I'm a bit too far here. And that to one millimeter. Right. And now I'm going to get rid of my tires. I want those little walls here. They are not going till the very top of the rim of the lip. So Clever. I'm going to 
separate my room. Just trying to catch. Basically, um, you have set the tire cross section and revolve it. Yeah. And uh, now split my rim in two halves because I want to, some ease of view right here. I want some ease of view so that I can draw a wall over there. I'm going to create a sketch here. So, Oop. so like the position helped me get the, the geometry which, uh, as uh, Tom is saying in the, in the comments in the chat below, basically, if you have this sketch, you use a revolving tool around the red axis over there, you get back your, uh, you get the rim again. It's, uh, and now, so, I want something a little bit rounded here. So, make a spline. a bit of ease of move right so it's closed I have a geometry and uh, now I can finish my sketch the other one it will be easier to see you see, so I closed this profile. First thing uh, I'd be tempted to do, which is a mistake, is to make an extrusion from, from a side and from the other to have a first wall. But I wouldn't have a flush contact on the edges. I just noticed it uh, as uh, closing my, uh, I was closing my, uh, my sketch. Uh, if I'm not too tired and uh, if I'm uh, educated or elegant as you wish I'm going to revolve that one around so will axis at and uh, the angle value um, the angle value would be the thickness, or maybe can I just... Hmm. Just uh, can select two sides. Do I have symmetry? I have symmetry, sure. And I want a new body and Check manually, one degree, maybe a bit thin, about two, one point five. All right, let's say one point one point five. Again, uh, we can be extremely tempted to go with a quite thin detail over there. Uh, we have to keep in mind it's a model and uh, we want to have enough thickness to be not to be too fragile so let's should be enough 
because uh, let's see expect measure from here to here 0 0.365 millimeters it's more than enough let's be brave one degree right so measure a few seconds to measure helps you stay in the real world so my 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 wall here is uh, 0 0.244 millimeters okay it's, it's good it's it's good it's what we look for uh, i can reassemble my rim for time being and uh, but it I'm going to be using I'm um, um, no I was I'm trying to consider the computing as you see my computer is slow probably because of the stream as well I have a, uh, a new body that I expect to evolve in maybe or maybe 20, 24, I need to count them, uh, maybe 24, 24 ones. It might be a hard task if, because I had in mind to replicate some bodies, but I can also replicate a function. And uh, so if I go back to function, make a join. I might have a warning from for that operation. Yeah, uh, because that was a join. Uh, the the join has a gluing uh, function as well. And now I can I can rev uh, make a circular pattern of my extrusion, my re uh, revolving maybe. This axis twenty four is not enough. I'm just taking a second on my book to try and count them. Thirty four, thirty four, thirty six. I'm not sure. No, sorry for Oh Tom, I saw it too late. Control S save save. Yes. See Tom, I did it. Control S. So there we go. We have done this outer part. Now I want. Uh, I'm seeing as I look at the picture. I'm seeking at the painting and the complete part. I want a groove and uh, which seems to be the, a cover for a brick disc or the braking system. Uh, is uh, ahead of us when we're looking uh, at the, the picture. So I want a groove, which is the first thing I'll, I'll make. I'm going to make a drawing down there.
Oh, slow computer. I have an idea, Tom. Uh, if I ever make some aftermarket t-shirts or mugs for, to support my channel someday, I'll make a, a Control S design or a Control S mug. Just to remember the, those early videos uh, with you on the Jared. What do you think? Yes, uh, I have an AD, only an, an ADSL uh, connection. I don't have the fiber, so I'm wondering if question uh, I have in mind is whether it's uh, the computing in fu Fusion or the fact that Fusion uh, works with a, a cloud thing and uh, also use, uses my bandwidth in the meantime that my uh, streaming uh, software is use, using the bandwidth uh, as well. I'm not too sure what's, what's slowing down the computer uh, actually. Because uh, here in my little village in the middle of, uh, of a forest, I just have uh, an ADSL uh, connection and uh, fi fiber is available since uh, a few months, but I'll be moving in uh, less than a year, hopefully in a year or so, in a new house. So uh, uh, I'm not putting fiber in the house uh, yet. So let's go on uh, this cover we have uh, two plates uh, and uh, walls okay we have a center ring here i have another view uh, which i imported uh, it's an interesting one from a different angle you see it's uh, sort of uh, a ball uh, uh, a ball cut so it's an interesting thing to to make okay so I'm going to raise until the higher plane here okay I'm going to split my wheel again. Hello, Marcin. Uh, thank you for coming in. Uh, just a few words uh, from you. It's uh, it's good. Take your time. The video will be available after the streams. So take your time. Take your time to, to watch it. No worries. Thank you for showing up. So I'm taking. I uh, don't know why I prefer the other side. I'm going to revolve a cut and. Uh, So, uh, recover some geometry, the projection. So, 
so first on my cut I want the angle here fusion which is this sort of line okay and uh, here there could be several ways to do it for this uh, as if a, a tool with a cutting ball has been going around I think I should go in a separate move and uh, make just a small cut and revolve this cut or I can use in the in the same cut as, uh, as this corner make the rounded groove and in the second move I can make a pattern and uh, add some walls. Both are possible. Uh, I see, I can see the walls going on the other side. So I'm going to make a full cut around for the ball, uh, for the ball cut, uh, if I can call it so. And I, I'll make the walls in, in, uh, yeah. Okay, so. I want a circle. You see uh, how I snap the middle with a triangle. I move and the triangle, I'm in the middle. So, something like that. Let's see how it goes. So, revolution. I'm selecting everything. I don't forget to put my sec uh, second half of rim. The axis will be this one. It kept uh, the pre previous setting, so I'm going back to full. And uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, yes, Marcin. Marcin, uh, I feel you because switching from Blender to Fusion, or as I, uh, I'm, I'm doing at the moment, from Fusion to Blender, is quite difficult. But, yeah, uh, I have uh, I have some difficulties uh, as you. Totally different mindsets. Yeah, uh, not not an easy thing. Yeah. So uh, I have my groove. Right, uh, but it seems to be a little bit small. Uh, or is it displaced? Let's see if. Uh, better. Right. Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm not good because I have a flat plane before the ball. Okay, I'm not good. You see what I'm doing here as well? I want to be uh, perpendicular with this point. So I have my line tool. And as I move, uh, several indications appear. I have parallel because here. And now I'm just hitting this dot. And I pull 
and now I can see I'm, I have a diagonal I'm good Oop. and that's the shape I was looking for uh, more looking for that I can remove and now I can set my circle down here Uh, I'm zooming in here purposely I'm going to I'm not going to put my circle until the very deep part of the angle because again now I'm thinking about my painting and I want a catch for my pin wash so I'm letting a little bit of space so that on the revolve, we'll see that angle showing up and uh, it will be a, a good place to see a, a pin wash uh, make a catch. Okay. So, my, I need to modify my cut, my contour. What could you it? Make a new one, sometimes it's even more simple. Oh, go on, computer. And here we go. Yay, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so I have a vertical sidewall here, a flat plane here. That was that's what I wanted. Okay. Good. So now I keep on moving till the center. I want to look keep the, this wing plate here and lower down the material behind ok, so let's go on And uh, again, you see pictures, no, not much measure, measuring, eyeballing. It's, uh, it really reminds me of scratch building. We are making some CAD work, but we can't have access to all the blueprints or anything. Each one of us would make a different uh, would make uh, a different uh, a different modeling or rendering of the, uh, the very same part. It's really it's a, a drawing first before being something artificial or plan or, or uh, it's not a scan from the from the real world, not at all. Okay, so push the flesh. Uh, yep. And how this will be a bit thin. Yeah, better. Right. No. We see we have the center hub, which is attached uh, in the real one, is attached to the, the uh, to the leg, and uh, we want to have a, a really negative groove, quite a visible one. We have a negative groove, and then the cover of the brake, of the, ax the axle, and 
and everything uh, we have uh, some rounded shape and bolts and everything so I'm going to push the flesh in the middle just to get on the edge of this uh, of the groove okay So here I'm at 8.72, going there, mm, nope, there's a flat plane behind, yep, 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 yep. Proof will be here. Six point nine seven. Right. Okay, so now we cover this area and we want those little walls here. We have a shape, uh, so there's an angle on this side, it goes from uh, an edge to the other. Mm -hmm. I see a shadow here, so it seems to be a rounded lip here. Uh, we'll add it uh, afterwards. There is an, another shadow here, so another rounded lip here. So those are nice details to catch up some. Uh, I hope it will be visible on the on screen. You see, it's a very small detail, but anything good to catch uh, a pin wash will give some interest to the part. So I'll be adding those two lips, and uh, we. The little wing seems to. Mm, yep, okay, they seem to go a bit further than the groove. Okay. So, first thing first, the lips. Where did I see them? One here, one here. Just to use the things, creating a rounded lip on fusion is quite straightforward. You'll see what why uh, I did. I joined my half wheels again. Pipe tu pipe tool on a join circular section. I select the edge size of the section. How about 0.2? 0.2 millimeter is a good value for printing. Uh, while I was moving, I was just checking here the depth. We might have to correct this later on. A bit too deep, maybe. So 0.2 millimeter here, right? The pipe tool is an, uh, an easy tool to finish some some edges because often in a machined part there are some uh, rounded lips or rounded corners so beveling is good uh, the rounded bevel is fine too and sometimes when you need a, a positive lip and when you 
when you have the strategy to, to mark it with a, with a pin wash, uh, a thin tube will help uh, and catch uh, and catch the uh, the contour. So another pipe here, 0.2 millimeters, same, done. Okay. Uh, so moving on to the walls, the other array of walls. I'm going to split my wheel again. Cutting you with this plane. Done. I start with a projection uh, with a sketch, obviously, in the same plane which I used for my cut. Come on, computer. I have a, you see me busy, I have a tablet on the, on the side which uh, is a sort of uh, remote for the streaming uh, software and uh, it was disconnected and came back alive again. Uh, I'm learning this thing uh, too. So projection. Yep. I get my geometry back. And now to navigate my wall, little wall, this one. So I need an angle from here to here. Need an angle from here to here. Shut up. And uh, on the other side, a bit more rounded and it goes into the groove, it seems. Okay, interesting. But Seems yes, it's not this. The inner side is not flush with uh, this uh, round, uh, with uh, this rounded uh, with uh, that uh, flat uh, ring. So I need to start a little bit below. Interesting detail because it's a displaced uh, plan, and uh, I'll be able to set some pin wash again think, thinking at my paintwork and where should I this go down I said okay going move my view I want to go into the groove going there at an angle going down the groove Will it be enough? Yes, it's a revolve, so I could have stopped. Let's be... Okay, I stop in the middle of the groove. Perfect. And just using that tool to round my edge, just a little bit. I have So I have a slope, I'm going into the groove, I have a rounded edge. Start from a displaced plane, should be good. Alright, finish my sketch. 
And again, to create those walls, I uh, don't want to extrude them from a, on a symmetry uh, on each side. I want to revolve them. I'm trying to convince myself because my brain tells me to extrude. And we saw just earlier that it wasn't a good solution. So just say it in those two contours. I want to join around this axis and uh, what is this uh, I'll select an angle symmetry I'm going to make just like before 1.5 yep Putting both my rims and my join. So, as I select a join when creating those walls, I'll be sticking, um, I'll be gluing my, my rims. So, I won't need to put them back together again. And uh, let's go. Should be good. And uh, now it's been computed. How many slots do I have? Or how many walls? Where's my book? Old fashioned. I'm counting. Eight, so I should have 16 of them. Circular pattern of function, which is the revolving we did everything appears blue because it was a join which cut uh, my rim which glued both my rims 34 no I said 16 and Not bad. Not bad for an old computer with a slow bandwidth. Good. And now, what could we add? I'm moving a bit further. So we have a rounded part. So here is the center, we have the wheel axis, uh, which comes into, which goes through, comes into the leg. Uh, I need at some point to take my calipers, that's HPH part, which is not that bad, not that bad. Uh, I'm making a lot of parts for this kit, but still uh, some some good uh, some good parts are provided. There is a metal tubing in, uh, which is embedded in the in the resin. Should be it should be fine. And I want to know what my axis diameter because it will be an important value. I have 2.54 millimeters. Checking again, 2. Points. It's not uh, very round. 2.7, 2.6, 2 2.5. Okay. So uh, I'll punch uh, 2.5. Seven hole for my axis because I have some. I need to have some uh, some room for this axis, obviously. But also, uh, if there are some glue, I want the if any excess uh, place for the glue to uh, to come out. I want a little bit of tolerance. So I'll I'll start with 2.7, and again. In the end, such a, a hollow tube is a, is an easy thing to to fine tune. So, uh, 
2.7 I said yes 2.7 sketch in the middle and uh, 2.7 millimeters and this I'm setting it it's a constraint I want to keep it's important I even keep it as a separate uh, drawing like a punch we'll see further further in the design how long my rim will be because I want it to be sturdy as well so and now we'll take care of this ring where we are going to be adding those rounded humps so I have a flat plane here with few bolts bolts are always inter interesting in the design so I want those few bolts a rounded lip and okay um, but I'm starting with I'm seeing the high cylinders going to start a new sketch here so making no. projection okay and to get back my symmetry my geometry sorry Circle. So here, first hump. Second hump. We'll fine tune afterwards. And here, I'm going to make a construction circle, which we'll fine tune as well. On which I'm going to set. let's say point four another circle point fifteen you see there's a strategy behind you'll see it's something I use very frequently I have it's a, a set uh, I often make. I have a plate, a bolt, and through the bolt, uh, the screw popping out of the bolt. It's a, a common thing to make, which again uh, catches, pin washes very well, and. Uh, it's a, a combination I, uh, I too happy to make a large circle, a center circle and a, an hexagon uh, in, in middle of those and uh, on, in the same sketch so that you can work more, more quickly uh, right yeah, center I thought don't know why just because I want things to be clean up on this line okay and there 
was just attaching my bolt on the center line and you see as I push my bolt to the to the edge of the of its plate it also pulls the the construction circle which I'll use uh, Actually, I don't need it because I can make a circular. Uh, I was thinking uh, a path, but uh, I just simply I can just simply revolve my bolt. So, <laughs> John. <laughs> Very good, John. <laughs> uh, so you'll be happy if. Uh, John, I found a little quick project to make. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you you have a, a little smile when I, when you'll see what I choose to to make uh, as a small project for for the videos. Uh, keep what I say in mind, and uh, I'm sure we'll have a, a few fun times with a, with a few jokes about it. You'll see. So sketch is done. I'm going to choose a simple solution. Several ones are possible. Uh, you'll see what I mean. I'm doing the first height. So actually, I'm pulling that area here, which uh, secures the wheel axis. Uh, I'm going very visually. I'll pull the second one in a, when my computer will accept to compute. Second one. There we go. And uh, John or my, my friends on the chat uh, need some help. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, if you have the sound uh, playing all the time, but I'm I'm still looking for the name of this function in English. Uh, in French, it's congé. Uh, I started to call it a rounded uh, chamfer, but there, there must be a name uh, if. If you could help me and uh, tell me what's the English word for for this function, that that uh, winding uh, chamfer thing, uh, I'm not, I can't find it back. If you if you had a minute to to look for it, in in the chat, because I'm using it right now to run my edges. The fillet. Thank you very much, John. Fillet. And now I'm tempted to go flush, but I uh, need a bit of height here. And uh, interesting thing, so I'm closing it. Purposely, I'm keeping a flat place here to catch a pin wash, and I'm going to reset this extrusion I want a bit more of height oh, this way right so I'm trying to imagine where my pin washes are going to to set and that's why I didn't push my fillet round until the very until the the contact of the wall. Uh, purposely, when I make rivets or such shapes, I try to keep a, a little flat area just for my pin washes. Okay, and now we want our bolt. So they seem to be quite high. Do this. Starting 
a race with uh, <laughs> filet mignon yes so good filet mignon yes cooked at low temperature with a white wine and uh, very small potatoes cooked in butter in the in the same uh, in the, uh, not recipe in the small potatoes in butter with your filet mignons low temperature wine, white wine marvelous so I'm, I'm departing from the center always because uh, it's easier this way to select the, the profile just just for this reason and uh, and even as an example, a uh, new body. New body, you'll see why in a, in a second. Uh, um, maybe some of you see why I am making some new bodies on this extrusion. And uh, the base ring here, new body as well. 0 0.15 millimeters is a is a sweet value I found on my Sonic Mini 4K to be visible, catch a pin wash, just visible enough to see that there are something. Oh. Then. I combine my three parts computers computed circular array of this time I'm not using function but body picking my bolt like this and so center line 16 uh, they don't seem to face this world There are less bolts than the walls, it's not on this. They are not the same part as the walls, there's no connection. Uh, it was, it, that's why I'm, uh, I've been confused. This flat ring with, uh, which is secured by, the, by those bolts has nothing to see with this circular pattern of, uh, of walls. So I don't want the same number, I want to visually detach them. So uh, 12 should be a good value. Yep, seems good. And now it's going to compute my 12 volts. So you see many bodies, but there is a reason why, and uh, I know you were expecting this. I'm going to choose this tool. No, just one. So now I'm picking, and um, Fusion is clever. He knows to pick the center of the bolt, and there's something I really don't like, is to have my bolt all oriented the same. It's so I'm not I'm not looking. I go random. One bolt. When computer. Uh, has not to deal with uh, the streaming thing and, and when it's uh, much faster some something which doesn't take that long 
but honestly uh, I found necessary when you have a, an array of, uh, of details which are all the same you, you want to keep a natural rendering in some ways and just changing the orientation of bolts is it's maybe, maybe a bit obsessive but it's a good ha it's a good uh, habit I think Thank you, Tom. And Tom, what's your what's your model in in progress at the moment? Too fast, make sure I'm spot in the center. Okay, and now I can. I can merge and make anything a whole. Join. Okay. So not too bad. Not too bad. So approximately done here. There's a thing here which I might be adding later on um, if I find some further details I'm not sure if it's a part of the leg which connects to the brake system or not I'll try to find further information on it I'm not sure, we'll see still working on the F14 more or less you're not meaning you're starting another new kit. You haven't opened another box, Naughty Boy. We want to see that Tomcat finish. Hello, Insane. It looks complex, but still. I'm not sure if you hear from the very beginning we've been using rather simple uh, simple solutions and simple uh, tools so far the complex uh, look of the whole thing comes because uh, a lot of arrays a lot of uh, replication of the same details but taken one after one all the, all the different details are um, are simple tasks and uh, that's uh, in modeling it's often uh, a high quantity a high quantity or a high, a high dose of repl uh, replications on helps overwhelming uh, your your audience and uh, helps uh, making things busy and complex but actually it's the, the very first thing the, the, the each single details each, each single detail we, we have been uh, uh, replicating with arrays and uh, patterns are not the, are not that difficult to, to make. It's one of the beauties of uh, of, uh, of 3D. And the other advantage is that compared to traditional scratch building, is that we are sure they will be evenly spaced and evenly replicated. That's uh, a cool thing. So let's move to the other phase now, maybe. 
actually I found two kinds of rims but so far I saw that one uh, from uh, my friend Romain Hugo who sent me those pictures from Oshkosh I only saw it on this uh, Tiger Cat which is a restored one and uh, if you happen to build a Tiger Cat you might most often see those ones uh, that's the one I've seen on the, on the black uh, night fighters uh, I want to depict so I'll go for this one but keep in mind if you're building a tiger cat you might want to document your and uh, investigate a little bit and uh, maybe this kind of uh, rim could be could be the one you need uh, I'm not sure so give a give a check And uh, in insane, same uh, as I have this picture in mind, to to model, you would just need to make uh, just a this single part, for example, one hole, one and uh, one wall, and make an array and uh, replicate everything. It would look busy and uh, very complicated, but one of the first uh, things to try and pick on a on a design you're going to make is how, how can I minimize my, my task and uh, which things have been replicated during the building process because most often we are uh, redesigning parts that back in the day or recently some engineers did and uh, they were in the same process as us they wanted to, to minimize their task to go uh, simple and efficient and there is a lot lot of uh, replication of there is uh, there are a lot of arrays in uh, in modern or let's say in uh, in machining in so it's one of the first thing to to look at on a part where can i go simple and multiply uh, my task to me to get an efficient work uh, so okay so uh, we see that there is a kind of uh, drum thing here which is probably something to vacate the, the break disk uh, dust or I don't think it's a, a drum, uh, a drum uh, system break it might just be something to vacate uh, the dust from uh, the brake pads on the, on the disks so I'll start from the outer because I want my, my wheel to be hollow and to be accurate first, visual also, to show some details and so to be interesting. But it will be supporting my, my whole plane made of resin and uh, I want it to be du durable and to be sturdy and uh, I'll be probably selling the, the kit in a after, after the build, so I want the future owner to have something uh, reliable. Uh, I, I don't want to, I want him to be pleased with the build first. I don't want to have problems after and to or to have to make some, some repairs. I want uh, selling models uh, has to be a win win thing. Uh, I want the client to be happy and I want to be happy and uh, uh, happy for him and uh, I don't want to make to, to need to make some uh, repairs if not uh, because of my uh, my being uh, lazy or because of a bad design so I'm going to make the outer ring first and uh, I will see how far I'm going through the um, Pushing, you see, the, f the tire will be a single part, but my rim, my rims will be two parts, which I'll secure and sandwich on my tire. So I'm going to go a bit. I'm trying to see how far I'm going because I. Uh, doing a course for Fusion. Insane. Uh, for Fusion, 
uh, I suggest going to on, on YouTube. On uh, YouTube, there are a lot of lot of uh, channels. Uh, uh, I went on the French speaking one, so it wouldn't be it, would, it wouldn't be relevant for you. Uh, I'd suggest to go on the on uh, YouTube channels which provide uh, small episodes, small episodes. Uh, uh, tomorrow, please check in. Uh, I'm just put, putting a note. Check on my Facebook page on the advertising on the advertising page of um, of tonight's episode. I will be adding in the comments. Uh, I'll be adding some uh, YouTube links to to channels. Uh, uh, or uh, John, John, if you if you still run here. Uh, I try to uh, find back his name. Uh, it, it's just on the tip of my tongue. Uh, I'll be, I'll be adding, uh, I'll add, adding them. Main thing: go in a slow progression. Don't go in a too much complicated pro project at the beginning, and go for small episodes of maybe 20 minutes and. Uh, just wa uh, watch them wi without practicing and uh, see how the material move. You see uh, how to create material with extrusions, how to remove materials with, with cuts, with uh, the revolving logic, all, all of what they call uh, some, uh, Boolean, uh, some Boolean tools. Uh, John says, uh, a, ch oh, a channel. Uh, I hate to look for my for my words in English. Uh, uh, it's a famous one. Uh, ah, uh, disregard, John. I, I, I'll find it back. Uh, it, it's in my history on the on the computer. I will add it in the in the comments on uh, on my Facebook page. Uh, don't don't worry, John. Uh, sorry for asking. Um, Oh, I think it was uh, not a Swedish name or uh, Danish. Uh, it will, it will, it will. I, I need to stop uh, thinking about it, and it will uh, maybe come back. So. Going to raise a little bit. Here, I'm still on the outer rim. I want to push it up, but now it will start to be hollow. So I'm, I went too far. Okay. Yes, yes, John. Lars Christian. Oh, thank you, thank you, John. So insane. Uh, just as uh, said John above, look on YouTube for Lars Christiansen. He's uh, maybe one of the best uh, Fusion 360 uh, tutorial producer on uh, on YouTube. Uh, he's going. Very simple at the beginning. He, uh, I still uh, happen to go and look for some of uh, his tutorials on uh, on YouTube. You you'll find anything you need uh, on uh, his channel. And when you face a problem, uh, try to just as a keyword on uh, on YouTube, Fusion 360 and uh, and uh, just. Uh, I uh, problem with loft. Try to name the function, and you'll you'll find some uh, some explanations. And uh, YouTube is a huge huge source of uh, tutorials. S thanks a lot, uh, John. Thank you very much. So now I'm going to start creating my outer rim. Now I'm setting a plan here, from which I'll start my rim. And uh, I'm trying to keep in. Uh, I'll keep in mind that uh, I will need a, maybe a little bit of tolerance. I see or not. If I can, if needed, uh, it's an easy sending to make. 
and the other thing where my outer rim is not complete is that I need I'm going to forget it so I'm doing it right right now so I finish my, my sentence sorry uh, I want to solidify some tube some tubing just for stiffness Oop, so I'm going right here I'm going a bit randomly I have the image of the of the front cover in mind so here that should be enough and I'm going to push this up here uh, no uh, I need to get back some geometry Oop, no should be fine there I don't know why I can I couldn't get the center disk I'm just going to Being curiously complicated for that. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. So I have some room and some uh, extra st strength all the way to a bit further ahead for my wheel uh, axis. And some cold tea. Okay, so now I'll actually start My second part, okay. So I need this raised lip the walls here. I see a, a line, the wall don't go as high as those two lips. So I'm going to make those two and an array of walls after okay so let's see I'm going to project you I'm going uh, yes then let's be clever one at least once uh, new body I'm going to raise you up there
Uh, could I catch this line? Maybe sometimes with the extrusion tool you can catch a height where you want to jump to. And uh, <coughs> sorry, this one would have been fine. Okay, so no. right. So at, at at the moment I'm still inside. I'm still inside my tire. And I want my lip to be a bit further out so that I have a connection. Okay, so projection view the inner circle I'm going to make my new outer circle right here right my sketch So I, I have a contact here and uh, that was done on purpose because now I'm going to make a fillet and uh, maybe more see and here I should be good It seems that uh, it's quite square on the outer edge. I'm a bit high though. I'm going to reduce my height here. Let's say M3. Ah, okay. It's um, because I had as I had both my, my tire and my rim visible when modifying my extrusion, the join melted them. And so the fillet uh, didn't notice the difference between the two parts. Now I should be in a better situation, right? See, I have some tolerance, um, which is quite tight. And now going. Jared no, never apologize. Uh, you're here. I'm happy. It's uh, come when you have time. There's, it's always a pleasure to see friends. We all have a life. Uh, never apologize to 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 join in uh, after the beginning. It's no problem at all. See you, Tom. Thank you for coming. Uh, 
one hour thirty. You've you've been staying two hours with me. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much for coming. It's uh, really kind of you. See you soon. I hope. Now I can push you. I might have a problem here. Here I'm a bit close to my edge. Let's see if I need to make a different approach. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll keep in mind it's, it might be an area where, uh, where I need to do some uh, adjusting and to strengthening because my recess here is pushing down in the flesh quite close to this area here. We'll see how it goes uh, after a test print. So now uh, I want to keep this catch. I can have uh, so what I'm thinking at now is making those little walls. So it might be interesting to do to do those curves here. I don't know if it will show up. Uh, it would be cool if, if I could. So I need some more depth first. And John, John, what, what about you? What's your model in progress at the moment? You did some very nice one uh, recently. What, what's your What's your brilliant progress now? So now you might have seen I've set a plan inside the groove because I'll be drawing my uh, walls and extrude, and extrude them from the bottom of the groove and raise them just and stop a little bit before reaching the lips because I want that little displacement. So I'll start with projection because I want to pick up this geometry. So try to minimize my amount of work because I'm an air traffic controller. Set a symmetry so make a cross function line yep. I can't. I was thinking about uh, symmetry from top uh, to bottom, but uh, as I don't have the same diameters, nope, not a good idea. So I want three points. You see how fusion is helping me to line up the, my lines. Main project, uh, blend line. Ah, oh, yeah, the blend line. 
so the shelf of doom SMTG, SMTG helped me a lot in uh, learning acronyms actually in English I've been improving, improving my, my English thanks to SMTG and uh, all, your, all of your acronyms I want... nope 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 it's not that I want, I want to catch you because I want a flush contour so I pick the last handle and uh, set it parallel to the following line same with you pick the handle and turn until it snaps on the line so that I will have a flush contact between my Bezier curve and uh, on my line and you see how I did this nice French section Bezier curve a bit like uh, some of you would say Gunze same here and uh, again at the moment it's another place where I'm trying to make some modeling modeler choice I'd say is to maybe go a bit exaggerating that rounded shape because in scale that might not be showing but still it's an it's an interesting detail and uh, I'd like it to be noticeable so a bit like a grain or something sometimes it it can be interesting, I find, to to force a little bit uh, the nature and so, some details. So we'll see how it works. Symmetry. Uh, symmetry. Jared, you mean that uh, Lars Christensen do, does not make Fusion uh, 360 tutorials anymore? I did not. I did not know actually. Finish my sketch. Join. And so, as we said earlier, I'm not going to the very top. Here it's to me in an important detail. See, I want that cut line and and that and this one, this one as well. Uh, to me, it's an important one. Okay, size uh, seems good. Ah, and I made a mistake because my uh, my rims are stuck together, so I must have uh, maybe you. So it's a join, yep, and I want a new body. And now I should have my outer rim. No. Where is that? Let's go back. Right. Came back. I haven't watched him lately, but he came back. With um. Okay. Um, 
I thought I had. No, further back. I'm trying to find a place. Uh, where I put, uh, yeah, that's this one. Which is a join, and I wanted a new body. That's the one I, I was looking for. Okay. Okay, and now this one could be set as a join. Okay, I have the beginning of my outer room. I got my things back to, to normal. And now we are with that counters. With that counters is not pejorative, it's a good word. I'm going just off screen to count uh, how many walls I, I, I want. That's half for a second. Thirty-two. I want thirty-two of them. Circular array of function, which was u an extrusion around here, and I said thirty-two. And uh, if uh, our friend will. Uh, had seen me here, he would be proud because I didn't create a bunch of bodies to merge them in a second move. Uh, worked. I did my homework. I'm listening to you guys. And uh, John and Jared, uh, I, I know you have some experience. So again, there is absolutely no worry to tell me what I could do differently, what I can do wrong. The, I can hear all of that. Uh, we were all in a constructive uh, chat, and uh, you know me. I know you far enough to to know you, we, how you make sense when you you talk about uh, CAD design and anything. So again, feel feel free if you have inputs or insights or ideas or suggestion. Again, feel free. And uh, so. We have this perimeter. I want a groove because here this seems to be a cover, a removable cover. We see a hub with a foldable pin, which could be a cool feature to make. And I want to make this groove. And uh, yes, uh, okay, okay. In the meantime, I'm trying to see as a construction wise. So let's go back behind. I want to play here. Fourteen sixty two. I'm lazy, I'm not creating a projection. One less click, uh, not necessary. Join, oh. and I'm moving up here. I can see the metal, the groove is not that deep, so I should be fine somewhere here, right? Uh, 
end. No, I can start on my cover and uh, I could have been more clever because I want my cover to sit on something so I need you here a bit more otherwise it will be too fragile and now I'm going to use that ring to support my cover it may be a bit large we'll see because seen from above hmm. we'll see on the appropriate plane uh, yep, I'm going to plane here okay I'm going safe making a plane John and uh, Jared, I have a question for you, uh, taking the opportunity. Do you feel it's safer to set a plane uh, each time or just by desig designating a, a face and starting by sketch on the face? Do you think it's enough? Uh, that's something I'm not sure of. I think I have more control of, uh, on my lines if I s set an actual plane on the face before. I'm not sure uh, if you have uh, opinions uh, on that. For example, for this particular drawing, would you have set a plane or, or not? Uh, I'm not too sure I need to have this discipline uh, or not. So I have. Six. Yep. And I'll be going right there. That, uh, that ring I want to raise a bit higher I, uh, let's see let me show you it's an interesting detail uh, the cover sits on top of the other plane so I'm going to be a bit higher um, maybe a bit too much but still an interesting detail okay I'm going point four Uh, 
Yes, I'm good to go. And now, for ease, uh, ease of thinking, I'm going to cut this part, to split this part uh, with center plane, because I'm going to revolve, to use the revolve tool. And uh, cutting the part will be easier to sh uh, this one to get some uh, a good vision of my profile. And uh, I'm now thinking at the at uh, this area that uh, I want to make so it goes. It pushes into into the rim, and uh, there's a rounded edge here. Okay, let's see. To make a drawing from here. Project first to pick my geometry. And then offset from here, I have to use a different plane. Right. So you, th you think when uh, when drawing on a flat face, there is no real advantage in, in the end to, to create a, a plane on the face bef before uh, starting your sketch. Just uh, showing showing your face and starting the, the sketch uh, on the fly on the face, for, you think it's it's just enough actually? Trying to save time, but I'm going back in a second for a second in time because so I finish the sketch before the sketch as I need to locate my hub and the different widths. It will be easier, I believe, to have a sight on what's happening behind. So I'm going to cut you with this plane too, so that I have a better view on what I'm doing. And now can go further in my timeline and come back into my sketch and now I can hopefully be more efficient. My hub will be here. So my line is that flat surface here then I want to go up with a spline something
putting a constraint here with my handle to have something flush. So I'm moving up. I want to flat Here I'm keeping a tolerance. I'm moving here to, sh I'm hiding the center axis and uh, how about going there? Full turn. And we have a better sight on what's happening. I might be a bit hard on my curve here. Mm. Nope, I'm going to just move a bit on a bit of sickness because I'll be too fragile and let's try again and actually what uh, just wondering if I have an interest in the uh, this particular line here I'm showing by intuition I uh, went just to this corner I could have been catching a bit on this line to have a little bit more of thickness and it would be more solid it might be fragile but a thin skin is uh, an interesting thing too so right, let's try this so contour in English uh, profile profile axis U angle all the way no it seems a bit better it's better we have good tolerance uh, uh, will I need to split my hub again I don't think so so I'm going to show up my other on the join so while I'll be making my uh, revolution I'll be gluing my rim back you know and uh, make it a single piece again And uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. So now we want those. Mm, let's make the get outs. I believe is it centered? I'm checking if there's a relationship between the position of my triangles and the outer rim. I believe there shouldn't. Uh, here it's facing a wall. Here it's more like. Mm, 
No. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, forty-two. No, there mustn't be. I think that when putting back the the cover in place, you just need to check the valve is uh, going through a hole. It doesn't seem to have any more constraint. Let's go ahead. And uh, yep, okay. Uh, I'm going to show up. I have a good tool here, which is this line, which I'll use to set a plane. I could project from a from a facing plane, but. As you see, I don't have an even thickness here, so I could have a bit weird contour. And actually, do I need... Yes. What I have in mind at the moment is to have an even uh, cutout, an even thickness, is I could have raised this line to have those two lines parallel. But it'd be more fragile. I would have less uh, thickness here, but all the force will be applied. By, all the force of the model will be applied on this tube on the on the back plate. So I could try the risk to just have a cover. We'd like to live dangerously. We'd like to live dangerously. Kiss modify. I'm going to check if I make this. Yes, of course. And now. If I didn't just uh, make a measure between you and you, I have almost uh, well, zero thirty-eight three millimeters. It's manageable. Yep. Okay. It's manageable, and we'll have an even thickness uh, during the cutout. And now I can set. Uh, Do I set a plane or do I revolve? Uh, I'm trying to think loud so that it's it makes it a bit in, more interesting to follow. And I have two options for my cutout. I can set a plane on this line to be tangent, draw a triangle extrude it and push an extrusion uh, maybe in both directions no not even because I'm on a line so I could just make an extrusion to pierce my uh, my cutout revolve the function and uh, there's also the solution to revolve a cut symmetrize it but uh, my problem will be on the angles. I have rounded angles. So I, with a revolver tool, I would, I would get sharp angles. So I could then uh, round them with a fillet. I'm going to, I'm going to draw on a plane. Uh, let's go see. Uh, it seems more more simple to me. Let's go. And I need uh, I need a cut on both directions. 
Bem, sketch. I'm going to project this line just to be sure to have a reference to be sure I can pick it up. <coughs> Sorry. And now, so I have a line which I'll use as a symmetry, symmetry tool. So, <coughs> sorry, the top edge is above. Let's go as such. I symmetrize first because I have the fillet tool in mind and I want my full angle before using this tool so I'm doing my triangle it's a bit wide a bit high I think I'm going a bit deep too okay radius for my fillets uh, might be a bit low there not too bad finish my sketch and see how it goes you and you both sides I'm going to remove uh, checking I didn't make any damage behind nope uh, John and Jared uh, John if, and Jared if you're still here I treated myself for decently for my birthday yesterday. Uh, it, it arrived today on the, in my mailbox. I bet you know what it is. I'll be setting it uh, either tomorrow or after the live. We'll see how long uh, I'll stay on, uh, online. But uh, see what I mean. Okay, so I've got my cutout. Trying to remember, John, your Blenheim 148 scale. A fixed 148 scale. <laughs> Thank you, John. And uh, John, I'm, uh, I'm seeking a get uh, at the Blenheim. Uh, what's your opinion on the kit, on the FX kit, on the 148? Uh, is that a, a, a new tool or a new gen, gener, generation one? Uh, at least some. Uh, Engraved lines or something. It's a it's a modern it's a modern tool. Ah no, uh, my actual mouse is a vertical one. That's uh, that's what I use. But all my uh, 3D navigation is done by uh, by catching the catching the the cube uh, up there and uh, and zooming with the uh, with the middle wheel. It's uh, it's all uh, it's all I have. Uh, right. Yes. Do I want a cheat? There's a little 
trick I use sometimes to to cheat because air traffic controllers love cheating just to give the impression I have uh, seen a thinner wall up just like this and this time with a with with a chamfer it's a it's a habit I took uh, maybe it's a, maybe I kick an open door and maybe you know you know it uh, when I punch holes uh, we're on fusion on fusion on a let's say a side wall for example on, on my cockpit uh, when I pierce a hole uh, I go on the back side and make a chamfer around uh, around the cut uh, the cutout uh, line so that uh, when seeing from the uh, from the uh, from the other side, you have the impression that uh, your side wall is, is uh, thinner than uh, than it actually is. Right. So now I want to make an array, a circular pattern of U and U of both the cutout and the chamfer, and I'm going around center line not 32 I said how many did you how many cutouts did I say eight eight and uh, I don't know for you, but when uh, when an array appears, that's one of the best feelings in uh, in fusion. I think when you you design just a, a single detail, when you get the the final result with an array, it's just that feeling of a relief and satisfaction. That's a, a good moment, I, I think, in, in fusion. A little bit when uh, in modeling when you you have done a lot of work with your mask your painting just when the the very moment when you peel your mask off it's just one of those lovely times use a two direction filler to chamfer for example two direction that you have a thin side and a thick side yeah two direction fillet chamfer for the same purpose yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jared. Yeah. So now we're going for the nut. There must be a sort of uh, nut uh, behind. So let's go and make this cover. Uh, modeling wise. Now you ask Jared, uh, Chamfer. Jared, you, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, no, no, I have a doubt. A two direction fillet. You mean, you mean you go on a side, make a fillet, and pick one dimension at this point, accept it, and then go on the other side and make another one, or. Here you make both. Uh, ah, I'm seeing two distances. Ah, that must be that one. Uh, I'm going to reverse. I'm waiting a little bit for the delay as well because there's a little bit of delay uh, with the chat and the real time. Uh, oh, let's go back here and modify my fillet. Okay, I remove it and so 
two distances. Mm, is that what you're talking about? Let's see. Ooh. So now I have zero two zero two. Yes, I think uh, I understood. Uh, thank you, Jared, because uh, I did not know if that's what you mean. I did not know this ability, and uh, I'm the top one, I'm, I can't go too far. I think it's it makes a, it says no. I think because of the of the wrong line. Yep. Thank you, Jared. I think uh, I think I got what you were talking about, and I'll select it. Good learning, if it's what you meant. Thank you. And uh, John Blenheim, 2018, not a bad kid. And uh, first thing I worry about uh, when I hear Blenheim and Airfix, uh, John, what about uh, the clear part? Uh, because Obviously, uh, one of the main points of interest of the Blenheim is a uh, is a uh, all the clear area on the, on the front side. And when you say "fix" and "clear part" in the same sentence, uh, you you ask you ask questions. If you see what I mean. Yeah, uh, thank you, Jared, for the jump thing. Yeah, I, did, uh, I didn't explore that uh, yet. Yeah. As you see, even here, it's uh, it's good because I have a good cutout without losing too much thickness and being too fragile. Yeah, I like it. I'll, I'll keep it. So a circular array. Uh, no, I had it. Uh, good. There we go. I've tried thin extrude. Nope. Thin extrude. Uh, no, I haven't tried it yet. Yes, there were some new extrude features. Uh, Yes, uh, so a few months ago, this, there were new features about uh, extrusion uh, on the type thin extrude. I haven't explored it uh, yet. Um, I'll have uh, I'll have a bit of time to explore that. Yes, it could be worth it. Yeah. Extrude une paroi fine le long des contours ouverts. I'll take some time to, to explore it. Yep. Check the thickness of the main ribs. Yes, I uh, agree. Agree. Yep. Uh, zoom out. You know what? Uh, I'm going. It will be easier if I do insert a canvas from my laptop. Uh, luckily, I didn't reach my Pornhub collection and just reached my reference pics. Good. Open here. Uh, 
because Schultz says that my triangles are going maybe a bit Maybe it's, uh, I need more space here. I'll set this one here for the time being. I think it's uh, the triangle are too narrow on the on the, the lower tip on the on the tip that which uh, points to the middle. The, Wouldn't uh, I remove my canvas? And I think I have uh, approximately the same length on the three faces. Approximately, if not exactly. Uh, that's that's where I have a problem. I think. Yep. Let's see. If I make my triangle this way, and then I want you and you to be equal, I want you and you to be equal, I want I want you to be perpendicular. Ah, and now I want to push you up. Computers frozen. Okay. Uh, 0.2, 0.15, 0.2, right? my sketch so now I have set uh, equilateral in, in English sorry on my size uh, have the same length as I built my triangle on symmetry my horizontal line was split in two and I could I did not know the way how to constrain the the equality between this line and uh, the other one uh, because it was split in 
two half lines actually. That's why I we started from zero and uh, constrained by three equal lines uh, set on the, the radius and perpendicular. The horizontal line perpendicular to the radius. Now are we obviously I need to remake my chamfer. Let's go. Extend tool. Ah, extend tool. I did. Uh, I don't. I don't know that one. Extend tool is in the in the sketch in the sketch mode. I'll, I'll give a look, yes, because uh, that would have uh, helped me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jared. Yeah, uh, I took the note and uh, I'll look at it as well. Thank you. You guys are kind and brave to follow uh, to follow me with a slow comp with my slow computer and connection as well. Thank you very much, guys. Back with my array. So. Canvas. Uh, I want to go a bit further down. I like it. So I'm looking for any small detail that I could use. Uh, I like this raised plate. I'm looking on the rim if I see any balance uh, thing. No, I have this. Uh, there's some text. Uh, Text might be a bit sm too small. How could I set? Lazy. Oh, where am I? Point fifteen. 
Vous voyez. Yes, the surface should be uh, is a revolution of a set of lines, so the surface should be flat. And uh, I'm actually, I'm actually extremely tempted. to emboss a few letters Don't tell the others how I did it. Up, 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 Extremely tempted to add some letters. Uh, I need to set. Some lettering. <laughs> Dumb dated, but I need to set. Going, uh, I need to make if I want to make some letters somewhere here. I'm going to make a construction line. No. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
project this line on the face new sketch no matter where because I just want to make a projection and I want a plane on that arm Project on the surface U, which curve U along the vector, which is U. And so I have my line here. Hmm. I'm being uh, making quite a little bit of guess because if I want a bit tangent here. I'm a bit lazy to make some calculations. Uh, well, not too bad. 55 degrees. If I want to use the emboss tool, text and on the path. Size point two. Uh, so mirror thing. Uh, let's try this one. Yep. The tricky thing is always with the text uh, to have the starting point, uh, which, uh, as Tom said uh, earlier, can be a better solution also sometimes to start the, um, to make text or some drawings on a separate uh, on a separate vectoring. Uh, Software so that we can get an SVG file and uh, it may be easier oh, uh, ah, because uh, there must be a, some, something with a mirror thing uh, I had to do and so a text. And again, we'll see because you know I like things to be serious, so yeah, red was there. To add, you wanted some letters. If it works, we'll keep it as such. 
right? Okay, and so it's been a long time since I didn't try uh, the Ember thing because I had some difficulties with it uh, initially. Yes. You. Point one point point twelve point twelve. I want them as raised. I don't know why the the menu so uh, raised or recessed, but what's the point in uh, talking about normals in this tool? I don't know. Uh, angle of rotation, what's this? Hmm. I, uh, I thought that handle would make a, a bit like an extrusion, uh, a sort of conical shape, or when you can extrude with an, uh, with a, an angle value, but no, uh, you can rotate. That's interesting, going back to zero. And so there's a and I can so you can also translate that I didn't notice either okay so if you have problems to center your text it's not that a big deal because you have some uh, handles uh, because last time I tried the embossing thing was on a curved surface which wasn't perfectly cylindrical and uh, yeah uh, Bus out or cut in. Okay. And uh, what could I? What else could I do? Because I need some more text. Trying to find a solution to make things more easy. Plane at an angle here. Okay, uh, yep. And uh, could I s trying to see if I can symmetrize that line? But no, I, uh, I could project it. I did this plane uh, uh, with a symmetry idea, with a, with a line. Uh, now I'm going to to keep things uh, simple. Uh, construction line, did as I did before. Uh, for me, it was that. And One thirty five. One thirty five.
Oh, I'm tired. Uh... Okay. If make an array view center view eight. Sometimes simple solutions are the toughest ones to find. Ooh. Not need you, right? And no, I won't. A plane at an angle on this side. Going to my my ball a little bit. So. Set a sketch right here. Create text along the path. My path is right here. Mirror. And Jared was there and uh, I want my sketch oh, slow computer is slow Uh, no, emboss you on you one twelve 
Uh, uh, interesting. Yes, it's good. Okay. more logic to read this way okay still works perfect even when even where we are not serious, we are not serious the serious way. And Jad. Right there. Then turn. Up. Finish my sketch. So we have uh, visual here and a little souvenir and uh, I want some more on those I put some figures uh, okay so no. text on you and I need some figures Keeps on same line. Interesting. Okay, just put a line of figures that I'll be centering. I won't be making the two lines. It be it, well, it will be enough. And uh, obviously that's my date of birth. I won't be making putting my phone number for the ladies. My, my wife wouldn't like it. I'm not sure some ladies will be watching this video either. Nope, I want to. And both you from you. 
Right, and a last one at an angle here. See you soon, Jared. See you soon, and thank you for having. Stayed that that long. It's, it's, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, next video will be a bit later on, and uh, uh, hopefully I'll be finishing tonight uh, the the rims. And uh, next video will be about uh, Blender, and we'll try to make uh, our wheel uh, bulging. And uh, it won't be it won't be tomorrow. I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll keep a little bit of time to. To make a, to to give a bit of space between videos. Thank you, uh, John, uh, Jared, for for coming. Thank you very much. See you soon. So I'm making a last series. So uh, I want I wanted those two legs to be busy. Making a last series of figures uh, right here, so that I have those two legs as well to have some letterings or, or figures to, to give some there's that symmetry over there. I have the plate. I won't be bothering with the letters on top because it could look muddy and blended into the plate and. Uh, Maybe the lozenge, no, not sure, uh, and which will be finishing with the with the hub and uh, just the walls uh, which appear behind. Thank you very much, John. John, uh, thank you very much for your kind words and uh, and for your help as well, because since uh, since the very beginning you you found some spot moments to give me proper advice and uh, it's it's been really kind of you so thank you for that John thank you so uh, I need a text along you, which I'll mirror, and uh, I want a series of uh, figures, so today is 17, oh, here, Sketch is done, we are soon finished with the lettering. Skiss face here, point 12, and we are done. And uh, we can move on to the main hub now. Looking, my, uh, I've got my, my phone just below to check the chat and I'm just trying to see if I can see no I can't see who's connected. I see there are four brave models who are kind enough to follow me. 
Um, unfortunately, I, I'd like to thank you one after one, but I can't see your names. I, I'm sorry. And thank you guys to to be with me. Okay, so we have the letters. Uh, just quickly, when we need on the fly, see this, this little lozenge. If you want to go, I'm not good at discipline, I'm good at the making quick and uh, undisciplined things. Here's one I'm going to make. Just have the plate. Uh, I chose this plate, which is roughly, not roughly, which is exactly parallel to the one below. I um, want a lozenge. Ah, John, no, no, I wasn't saying, no, no. <laughs> Stay working on like, on your computer. So, lozenge, two equal faces in a, in a side, the two opposite ones should be as well. Uh, and I want as well. Hop. I have a lozenge. Finish my sketch. New body. Uh, keep in mind, so of, uh, back at new body because oh, I'm extruding that guy. And uh, where do I want it? Here. So, translation, mm, nope, not that one, freeze, uh, difficult for my computer uh, back that's a little bit of freezing okay I can move so mm -hmm. roughly there it down and you see you, I'm checking when reaching I'm making sure I'm going into the flesh so that I can assemble the, the two parts my room with you done okay so the center cap I want a groove from my pin washes and a plate one cylinder, two cylinders. I'm going to set here a sketch because uh, I want to make something quite solid, um, sturdy, I mean, or not too fragile uh, as, uh, as you prefer. So I'm going to 
straight view. Okay. And I'm going to move that cylinder up. I could uh, have avoided to make that sketch actually. I could have just picked a face maybe. Okay, so now I have the bottom of my groove, and so from this plane I'll draw from this plane I'll have my uh, red cup show up and pop up out of the, the surface. Select the face. Center. So I'm looking at the measure 2.8. I want 2.65. 0 0.15 millimeters is a good value for a nice and clean uh, separation between uh, cylinders and also for uh, for a groove to to have a pin wash. It's a value you. Along the videos, you you you'll often hear me talk about 0.13 or 0.15 millimeters as a as a good value for to separate uh, faces, planes, to make grooves, or it's uh, something uh, it's a figure which is uh, really useful. So. I'll try to make one sketch for this. So I have the outer contour. I need another one and a third one. Okay. Those ones, I won't be constraining them so that I can play with them manually. Something like that. And we'll check with our canvas. So, the top one. No, I'll start from the outer one because I want to come up there. If I uh, if I select this plane, my extrusion will come and reach the exact same plane. It's a useful tip for the beginners. Um, actually, I want it to be higher, so I keep on pushing a bit. How high am I? Fifty-five, a little bit more. Yep. And again, you see, it's a technical drawing per, per essence, but a lot, lot of uh, interpretation, eyeballing, photograph, uh, reference photos, reading. You see, it's a technical drawing, but you're involving your your own uh, interpretation. It's a uh, it's modeling. Uh, I'll keep on saying it. It's modeling. So. And a funny game would be to choose some friends and a single topic and see how we'd uh, all uh, in make our our own drawings of the of the same uh, of the same object. Mm -hmm. 
and um, we need some fillet to round our edges. We choose the same value. Let's see how much how far we go. Computers computing, right? Uh, let's look at the canvas. Uh, it's a bit transparent. Modify canvas and opacity. To show a bit more. Uh, hard to see. Hard to see. We are not bad. This one, this is going to be a bit larger. Yeah. Right, here we go. We have our cup. Uh, I like these pins. Mm. Nope. Uh, I'm going to select another plane. Yes, I know. I'm going to start. I want my pin to go somehow through the, uh, the cup, so I'm going to start from this plane. Yes. Set you Too far, did my drawing too far in the center? No big deal. Sketch objects, I'm going to move them. Too far. computer we 
go so remember we are sitting on this plane and it will be helping to hold my part hopefully one millimeter should be showing up on the print we like risk taking and the second pin will be a symmetry of uh, Modify, join. My mind keeps on symmetrizing the bodies, but I can join and symmetrize the function which created uh, the part, so that I I won't need to um, to reassemble them next. Uh, mirror the function, which is that one on plane which is uh, that one <coughs> sorry Seen from the top, we have a hollow body. Okay, <coughs> sorry. I'm looking at those, I need some uh, walls in there. Not sure if they are if they are lined. Uh, I'm not sure if they are lined up with the uh, front cover legs. Actually, I have an, an interesting view. Let me share it with you here, so we can see one showing spot on the middle here. Another one, so there must be something. There must be one rib just behind the center of each, and one seems to be also below the center of the legs. So there seems to be a pattern over there. So now, what I'll do is Reassemble the other rim, and I'm going to hide. I'm going to rename it now. John, how are you? How are you, John? Thank you for showing up, and. Uh, Insane, my pleasure. Thank you for having stayed that long. My my pleasure. Uh, I'll be shortly finishing the wheel. You're, you're not missing a lot of stuff. If you've seen the the first part part of the stream, the inner wall, the inner ribs. Uh, I'm going to make same principle. Raise the wall, make a circular pattern around the center axis, and uh, we'll be done with the rim. So you're not missing much more. So there won't be new uh, new functions or new actions uh, until the end of the video so you're no you're not missing anything thank you very much for uh, for coming in thank you very much uh, insane glad to see you uh, john thank you for coming 
front uh, front cover 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 front cover so John uh, not John Colasanti but John Chung uh, so if you came in uh, at this time we've been modeling we started with the back of the of the rim we've been doing uh, we've been using some uh, reference pictures uh, you know you know better than me how important reference pics are so we've been working arrays and circular patterns we started with a uh, just a uh, an inner cylinder and uh, worked from the outside to the center as a progression and uh, added detail and uh, made uh, made our, our way from the outer rim to the uh, to the center part with a with a center tube which will be holding the whole model so um, I decided to make a quite chunky part around here and uh, I, I, I try to keep a, a, a chunky and hollow tube because uh, everything will be holding everything there will be holding the, the a heavy model so that's why uh, and uh, in the design it will be a front uh, the front cover won't need any strengths or anything so I'm keeping it uh, separate and uh, the tire uh, the tire doesn't need to be in two parts anymore actually uh, it's a good opportunity to merge it uh, make a join and so uh, it was in, in the discussion earlier my personal preference a tire one a half uh, rim another half uh, rim so that we can paint and uh, work our tire separately and have uh, as, as much as possible uh, a tight fit not too tight not to damage the paint the paint uh, uh, we did before the assembly we don't want to to have some uh, flakes of paint departing or to, to, to as resin is brittle we don't want to uh, to break anything so we've been working some tolerances uh, as well and uh, so we'll have mm, I can also uh, nope I still keep two halves two halves here for a reason I no need to make some walls inside and uh, I'm going to make my way over there. I'm going to work on this face. So that I so I have a pattern I have we see from another angle a wall facing each center of triangle triangle and another one between each leg so I'm starting here uh, projection I'm getting my geometry just in case so I want just a rib
Looking at my reference picture as well. Don't have a good sight in this. What do I want to show? There's a curve right here. The wall comes. Has quite a thickness uh, on a curve, so I'm going to run this. Oh yes, John, for sure. I I plan to print and <laughs> I plan to print and paint all this. Yes, sure, sure, sure. Because in the end, all these drawings must finish into resin chunks and bits and modeling pleasure. Something like this. Uh, trying to anticipate, I'm going to reduce the size of this plate here, uh, which I'll do right now so that I have a better view. Uh, but I just hide it for a second. I want more visibility in my room. Remember, this plate doesn't uh, won't support any sort of uh, constraint in force or anything, so I can gain a little bit of the room I believe and I want to reach somewhere here like to catch yep you Nope, went too far. There's a mistake going in there. Let's do this. Right and now. Back here. There so that I can have some visibility. That's this guy here that I want to show more. Okay, so I'm going to give some flesh and uh, make a revolve of. That guy. And in the meantime, uh, access is not selected. I'm going to merge my rims because I'm going to make a join in as well. Ooh. Uh, much better at an angle. Uh, why not selecting the proper 
axis I believe much better when you select the proper axis right uh, I'm making a join in lieu of having the backs of the rims as cylinders if you reduce their depth and jump for the sides a little the rims will save and force it yes but uh, uh, I'll prefer to start with uh, not tight not loose fit but keep in mind I want uh, to paint separately my parts to assemble but uh, as a safety I want to have uh, the sort of looseness you so that you can just in case disassemble your, if anything has gone wrong or uh, that that too much glue or anything uh, I'll see I, I keep your suggestion in mind and uh, so far uh, I tend to prefer uh, how to, to find the proper word uh, not too tight not too loose fit because I, uh, I want to be able to disassemble the part the painted parts with, with no damage and uh, too tight a fit wouldn't help circular revolve axis so 8 I need 16 in, if I'm not wrong so that yes Okay, so I have things uh, happening uh, right there. Mm. Not much a big deal, I could have rounded. Uh, uh, no. You. Yes, as a tolerance, uh, I've been eyeballing a li little bit of the the contact between the uh, outer rim and the uh, and the tire, and for the center uh, for the uh, the center cylinder, I'm uh, if I remember remember well at uh, 0.13 millimeters, which uh, between 0.13 and 0.15 is, uh, is a sort of uh, of loop medium to the, that sweet spot I'm looking for between tight and loose fit uh, with the Sonic Mini uh, 4K I use and, but it also depends on the which uh, settings you get on your on your curing time and uh, on, on, on your printing time and curing time it has a it has a, an effect on the how how uh, tight your your uh, how accurate your sizing are uh, from the drawing to the real part uh, so I know with my, my settings at uh, 0.13.15 millimeters of turbulence is a is a sort of uh, of fit I look for and uh, now I just wanted to round those two guys and we will be not too far from the end because you're seeing mighty the hour on my laptop I have a little bit of guitar homework to do as well I'm trying to just move these guys
Okay, and uh, just want to make sure that what I'm looking for at the moment is a contact uh, just need as well for strength. I'm going to extrude that guy. To meet that guy 0.525 and I'll reduce a little bit the flesh to have the just the space for a bit of glue so 0.525 0.5 remove the front cover and join Normally, I should have. I see, I have a correction here to make. My bolts are. My screws are a bit too high. I'll correct this. Right, and now. We have the outer rim with the removable cover, center, the hub cover in the middle. With it. Hopefully, the two pin, the foldable pins will, will show up. The wheel. And uh, we just need a valve. With, what time is it? 0, 3 35. Let's make a valve. For my valve, uh, I'll be attaching it. Reference, uh, uh, reference, reference peaks. comes out there where could I attach it thing is try to keep in mind I want Something which is in the meantime thin and not too fragile, so I'm going to draw a line which starts from here. I'm going to get out here. Now, which I'm making is uh, see, switch to 3D sketch, making a path. I want that plane. Top. Where am I? Nope. Strange. 
didn't see that line. That's what I want. Much better. Hi, ah, John. Uh, what wheels comes with a kit? Those are the kit uh, wheels, uh, John. Uh, two half uh, tires with uh, radial grooves, which I didn't want. The, it's not that important, but they lack like a little bit of diameter, uh, a bit more than one millimeter, so it's not very noticeable. So it's, uh, but they are totally smooth, not much detail. The grooves are. Almost invisible, um, not that nice, and uh, the rim is uh, very flat. It misses. Uh, there are some details. There are some details, but we can do better than this. And above all, I hate to deal with a, a center line uh, joint, see a center line uh, seam on uh, on wheels. But uh, yes, so the, it was especially for the tires. The, the rims could could be could be usable, but uh, no, we, we can uh, we can do better, I, I believe, with with our printer. And uh, it's one of the key points on a, on a kit. N nicely weathered uh, wheels are an important feature on on a on a build. So. No, we, And now, as I have a path, I can make a pipe here. Close my pipe. Here, my, my curve is not very clean. And uh, make the valve uh, cap, and uh, I think will be not far from the end because I have some guitar homework. Same time, I had a few days, uh, a few days to spend holidays because it was some holidays days from uh, yesterday's year. I had to f to finish so. I have one more day of uh, holiday tomorrow, so I'll be waking up quite late, I believe. And uh, John, uh, you, I, I have five brave modelers in my. In my chat room, I managed to have two Johns in my in, <laughs> together. For, my question is for my friend John uh, Chung. What about your printer? Uh, did you make any order? Uh, you were cons I think you you decided to get rid of your SM4K. But uh, what about the future? What's your, uh, are you going for an 8K one or for? A, I don't remember it if it was about the, the new Anycubic one uh, with all the I forgot uh, the name of the system with a laser and the sort of prism uh, thing in it. Did, did you did you make any, any decision about it? Mm. 
a bit too far. Last but not least, for those uh, who get into printing, a uh, quick way to make uh, buttons, uh, this little trick might be helpful. When you start from a cylinder, again, arrays, 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 uh, just on the fly, uh, no, first on the fly, but this uh, discipline so that it works. Which one is the center? You see how I picked the center. 90 degrees, I have a proper radius, rectangle. That might not show up on the, on the final print, but just for you guys, uh, as a last trick, we've been working a lot on uh, arrays. It's just to make some uh, grunted uh, cylinders, knobs, buttons, or here on the on the valve uh, on the valve cap. Uh, let's see. I'm going to extrude those two guys till the bottom. Right, then I have a doubt about my axis here so I'm building one quickly big deal create an array circular of you around you and around 24 To get some spacing, I mean um, yeah, 24. We have a chance it showed up. We'll see. Again, uh, if you have an intuition, just try. Just try. I uh, had so many surprises with with those printers. The only risk you take is uh, to get it work. It's. Uh, and if it doesn't work, you've been training, and uh, you made you made a drawing, and uh, it was a good training. Right. Almost done. Not quite there. Last one. Hmm. 
you see middle always uh, mid when you want to locate the, the middle of uh, a face which happens to be a circle you find it uh, that way point two point two and just uh, we like uh, as modelers uh, something dark with a pointy light shine light ball uh, shiny th shiny thing here so again we have our paintwork in mind point two it's a bit high but it will catch uh, it will catch a pin wash and uh, either a dry brush if we like it or just a, just a, a tad of glue just to make pretty on my drawing okay and uh, my tube I'm going to modify it as a new body because it will allow me quickly to make a little move as it's now a new body normally my whole valve is a new body because I've been joining the further extrusions so and I will be able just to adjust a little bit no sorry not what I wanted, uh, body, which I want to move. Uh, I want to move it a little bit further, and uh, we don't we give it a little bit of kink. Uh, Punching out here just to be a bit more natural looking. Mm. Pushing down. No, we're better this way. And then we have to stop at some point. Um, oh. I'm looking just for a bit of more natural pose. Just a bit, a little, uh, yes, a little bit of asymmetry. Uh, Checking I'm still in the properly set in the flesh behind, yeah. So I'm just looking to take the valve out of the whole symmetric thing and even though it's still on the reference constraint by going out of this, you see, uh, just a little bit of asymmetry to give a natural rendering. Then I can merge and we are done. Mm-hmm. 
sorry. So guys, I think we're done. It was four o'clock in the morning. Time for me to go to bed. It was good fun to to make it in a single session. So we have our tire, our rim, uh, just for the pleasure because we deserve it. A little bit of rendering. Appearance, soft rubber, uh, motor. What could we make? Uh, metal, aluminum. Paint. Right. So guys, hope you like it. Spend a good time. Four hours and a half. Some of you have been <laughs> really brave and uh, really kind to follow me all that time. Thank you very much. Uh, back to the next uh, stream. Uh, I don't uh, still don't know yet uh, when it will be. Uh, I'm going back to work uh, from uh, Thursday. Uh, so I'll be a little bit more busy. Uh, hopefully this week I'll make another stream for the Will Bulge on uh, Blender software. I just need a little bit of time to get back in the mindset of uh, of the lattice uh, modifier which we'll be using. Uh, once I'll be uh, back at it, uh, it won't be a long session because you'll see how, how quick it can, it can be. And uh, so, thank you very much for staying all, uh, all night long uh, with me. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you soon. See you next time.